Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Worldwise and welcome back to From the Depths and an update video because it's update time again. This is update Stalo 3.6.1 and for those of you who've been following what's happening in the beta test, uh, yeah these changes have been floating around in there for a while and yes I have been a naughty naughty boy not keeping up with what's happening in there, I make no excuses except that I'm lazy. And uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that's happened at uh, this time. The most significant thing for me personally is now you have the ability to mimic missiles and get them to look however you like, which I think is really cool. Behold my arsenal of pencils, or crayons I guess. But anyway, uh, it's not the only thing. Uh, so I'm just going to be reading straight up from the patch notes, covering everything in brief, talking a bit more about the stuff I find particularly interesting. And so, hello everyone, I'm reading the patch notes. Stable build 3.6.1 is here, a lot of bug fixes and a few major items. Uh, one of the major things for this update is land adventure mode. And those of you wondering why I'm not making a big song and dance about that, like, well firstly, other people are doing that for me, Lathrix, bless his wonderful cotton socks has already uh, done a video on like land adventure mode and because he likes adventure mode he loves it and he's good at it i personally hate it so don't expect the, to see that from me anytime soon because i genuinely do not find it fun it's not my cup of tea but if you like it and are happy with it then i'm happy for you and so you can Take to the hills and ashes of the empire in the land adventure mode. If you've never been in ashes before, you can find the okay. This is just talking about how to do it. Uh, you can find the planet in the content menu. Just click on it. To help with this, there's been a load of land-based bugs fixed and the addition of the articulated chair. This chair eliminates camera roll and pitch and can be fine-tuned by pressing Q on it. So we were going to get to that eventually, but the uh, that spelt wrong. Articulated chair. Articulated. Here we go. So this thing actually we need to do that and actually let us I don't know let's just spawn in no okay let's do a new blueprint new vehicle and have it rock violently and let us put the articulated chair on it let's go here So if I'm here, okay, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it is doing slightly better than before. Let's see there, can we... Stabilization speed, it's like that. There we go, that's stable, that is very stable. Look at that chair articulate, it's fantastic. All right, so can confirm, uh, articulated chair is wonderful, will be the... By Rambot. Uh, that'll be really cool. Uh, chair eliminates camera roll and pitch can be fine-tuned. That's actually one of the things I've never thought about, never asked for, but I think is really nice because often, because I build shaky vehicles, like, I'll get sick just by sitting on them. Uh, missile decorations are here. Click on the missile decorated missiles tab. Place it anywhere. Add decorations to it. Make sure and adjust the number of elements to the size of your missile. Give it a name, press Q on a missile launch pad of your choice and select the name decorator to apply it to the missile. And yes, this can get extreme melee, extremely spelled wrong, wacky, so have fun. Also in the land of decoration, a new widget has been added that can make editing a bit visually easier. You'll see arrows appear on the three axes that you can click and drag. Change mode by right clicking. Let's see here. So here we have the thing. Here it is, the munition decorator. And here is your... Uh, Pencil Armed and Dangerous Crayon. There we go. And oh, we can do that. <gasps> That's beautiful. I didn't see that option before. Alright, so let's check the decoration deck. Let's see if there's a widget. Oh, there is a widget. Oh, look at that. You can do that. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Forward and backwards. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, set all that to zero because that's actually exactly how I want it. Look at that friggin' <laughs> friggin' crayons, dude. Oh, people are gonna have so much fun with this. I'm already having fun with it. Okay, so now let's read out the patch notes, but while we do that, let us spawn in 
Oh, I don't know. What's something fun to shoot at? Like, these things will never be able to hit a flying squirrel, so let's just spawn in a crap ton of flying squirrels and see what happens. Oh, if you're wondering what these missiles are actually loaded with, it's a uh, typical uh, crayon uh, armament. So it's like reinforced bodies, explosive warheads. So now while we're watching the crayons do their thing, we're just going to read out the patch notes a little bit. So, uh, patch notes. Adventure, added land adventure mode. Breadbo breadboards. Breadboards can now pass strings, text around. Uh, generic block setter and generic block getter can make use of this for the hologram projector, signpost, text screen, poster holder, and blueprint spawner. Okay, so basically you can use breadboard to change the text that appears on things, which is pretty cool. We're never going to hit those squirrels, are we? Uh, breadboards. Components with a block name filter now invert the filter when the first character of the filter text is... I is tilde or exclamation mark. Breadboards. The adder component will concatenate strings if one or more of the inputs is a string. Breadboards. The constant input component can now define a constant string output as well as the usual constant numerical map to it. Okay, so it means it can have a constant... Oh my god, we actually killed a squirrel. That's amazing. Uh, yes, yeah, so, okay, so breadboards can now have a constant of text, actually. Like, squirrels, stop shooting at me for a second. I want to, I want to see this. So here we have the breadboard, which I totally know how to use. Totally. Alright, so here we have constant is number text banana question mark well there we go we've got a constant there i have no idea how to like or how you'd use that but still nice to know good for putting notes in i guess all right let's spawn in something that's less good let's spawn in let's what should we spawn in what's something that'll take a hot what is something that's just a nice damage sponge let's go let's shoot at a shut up phone let's shoot at let's shoot at Let's shoot at a Neptune, because that's fun. And let's follow my crayons. Here we go. Crayon of Doom, here it goes. Whee! Oh, I forgot this thing has lambs. Look at that fat bastard. Anyway, while we're blowing up a, sh a sail ship with crayons, that's, uh... Oh my goodness, that was loud. Okay, where were we? Where were we? Alright, editor. Added effective health to the design inspector in the planet editor. I should really play with that a lot more. Land. Some improvements to the spawning terrain to ensure it is present for vehicles. Anime DLC. Intelligence officer Yuka added to SS character anime DLC package. Prepare yourself for cringe, at least if you hate anime. Alright, so over there while our crayons are doing wonderful work, let us go to decorations and fastest way to show you this is with the animation block so we're gonna have a wee dance there and I have the DLC enabled so let's go Yuka and the emotion is going to be angry that she exists that is a weird expression oh let's make let's make her happy there you go now she's happy right so Yuka is Different, but also not really different from the other ones. That face wigs me the hell out. Anyway, so yep, that's one more uh, waifu for those people who like the waifu. Okay, what else are we talking about? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Chairs, alright, self-stabilizing chair, which is super cool and neat and cool and neat. Damn, this thing actually has a lamb on it. Oof. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wheels, wheels can now... Approximate collision with land, even when the land is not yet spawned beneath them. Decorations. You can now decorate your missiles using a new muni munition decoration block in the missiles tab. And decorations, there is now a widget for editing decorations. Cool. Then there is a whole bunch of fixes, which I'm not going to read out loud, but... Uh, in the changes section, fuel engines. Power output of all fuel engines increased by roughly 3.8%, which is interesting. I guess they were a little bit underpowered. And steam added... Roughly 8% loss to crank generators, so fuel is getting some love, and steam has just a tiny, tiny nerf. Now, uh, we can finish off this video by ensuring that our crayons actually do something against this. So, we're just gonna do this, we're also gonna do this, 
And the thing on the missile, by the way, is setting here. You can select what thing you want. So, let's just do this, and this, and this, and just set it like so. And now we have more crayons than we know what to do with. Go forth, my crayons! Love it. Can we run can we run out the juice? Yes we can. And we're going to. Whee. Well, time for a crayon only player ne uh, player neater. <laughs> time for a crayon only um, playthrough of neater, I guess. That was a weird thing way to say. Look at this thing. This is fun. This is so fun. <laughs> Look at that thing just going wee, Boom. And we missed. Bugger. But in any case, uh, that'll do for this just little update video. It's not the, it's a, uh, it's just fun stuff, yeah? So the, the chair is amazing, the missile decorations are amazing. I don't care pretty much at all about the land adventure thing. I will have a go at it if people want me to, but no promises that I'll enjoy it because I probably won't. Um, but yeah, it's like, cool, nice update, lads. Nice to see the game is still getting love, still getting updated. 3.6.1. So, on that merry note, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.